Hello everyone. Welcome back. I am Jay from Video Shelter. Today we are going to create this awesome car advertisement poster. All right. So yeah, today we are going to create this advertisement poster. So I have, you know, I have done some pre-work before starting up the tutorial because, you know, I have already made tutorial on same thing so I don't want to repeat and waste your time. So if I see these two cars, we'll be using these two cars to composite and make a poster out of it so i've already done my homework a bit so this was the original car so i've soldered it by itself so i have used the mask for that and i have done this thing with using my pen tool and then i have used this select and mask and these are my settings okay i have done nothing fancy this is just you know just uh, the basic selection nothing else okay and i've done the same with this audi car so actually it was something like this i had they had these shadows and you know trans semi transparent windows so i've cleaned up a bit so this is the you know basic setup if you guys want to see the detailed tutorial about uh, making selection and stuff i'll put in the description my previous tutorials which i've done on same all right so let's get started guys so this is the basic document uh, this is the you know the basic settings and the resolution is 1920 by 1080p on 72 resolution okay so we'll create a background color for my poster so first of all i'll unlock the background layer and i'll use gradient map once you open the gradient map and double click on this thing you'll get a palettes so you, there are pretty inbuilt cool looking backgrounds but i have designed custom one for myself here so this is the one if i double click and show you this are these this is the number you can type in the exact number in your dialog box and you'll get the exact color so this is for the darker one and this one is for the lighter one so this is the number you can put it in your dialog box and you can get the same colors let's get started so what i'll do is first of all i want rulers because i want things to be aligned a bit so i'll press control r or command r if you're on mac and if you don't don't see your rulers so just go to view rulers and snap rulers all right so i'll drag one here and it will automatically snap in the center like this and one from this side and it will automatically snap like here so this is the dead center of the scene all right so what i will do is i'll just go to my old car document and I'll just grab my move tool by selecting V or we can just go here and select the move tool and I'll drag it into my the into the main document which we'll be working on so this is the car there is there is some issues going on here so I'll take care of that in a bit okay so I'll do the same with my Audi car so both the cars are in the document all right so let's fix this issue first as i'm using mask i'll use my brush tool i'll go to basic brushes and general brush and this one and i'll decrease the size by open bracket and close bracket keys or you can just go here and manipulate the size accordingly i prefer using open bracket keys and close bracket keys so i want to delete the back some some part of here all right so i'll select the mask and i'll press x to highlight my white color and then i'll delete this so it's it's still it's there but it's on my mask so i cannot see it okay that's cool so now what i have to do is i have to align both the pictures in such a way like if they are overlapping each other the size is quite big here so first of all i'll decrease the size by pressing control t or command t if you're on mac and when i see this diagonal horizontal arrow so I'll press and hold shift and alt to make the size smaller or bigger in the same promotion uh, proportion sorry All right so this is the perfect size i think okay so i want one more ruler just to make the guideline for base of the tire so i'll drag one more from here and put it right below the tire i'll highlight my old layer so now what we can do is like we have masked it out so we may not mess up something in future and you know go back again to the mask and do the entire process again so what i will do is i'll select both the layers and press control g uh, control j or command j if you're on mac 
to duplicate the layers i'll hide the below ones i have kept these things just in case if i mess up something with the active layers so right click on the mask apply mask same for the other car apply mask so these are the two images we are working with so they are they don't have any background or stuff because uh, we had a mask on that and we have applied the mask so i'll rename them to make it more organized the back back one is old car so i'll put, type in old and the front one is new so now what i will do is i'll highlight my new car layer and decrease the opacity till somewhere around for 30 or 40 minutes whatever you just have to see through the uh, see through that new car to you know make the size according to your few old car press control t and now we will align these cars somewhere i'm just focusing on the tires because from there we can get the idea like if we are going in the right direction or not so base is already matched if if we see like there is nothing to be worried about for the base of your car okay so i'll be using arrow keys just for a slight bit of movement and i'll stretch it upwards so that this base this roof of the car matches the new one just there right and so the bottom of the car is messed up right now so i'll drag it a bit more down and then move it up just there done all right yeah so that's done okay so now if i increase the opacity of my new car so these are the issues but we don't have to worry about that because we will hardly get to see this car but just for your demonstration purpose to be to keep yourself organized and stuff what we can do is we can close the new layer just see like the, these are the parts which are going out of the new car don't worry about that that's that is what we need all right so these are the two parts which are going out of the new layer so i'll close my new layer highlight my old one go to my filters and select liquify it will take some time yeah it's done so my brush setting is some i'll choose the first brush over here forward wrap tool and the brush size is 500 pressure is 83 density is 20 and rate is 9 all right so i'll just click once and drag down click once and drag down click once and drag down once more all right now press okay and if i unhide my new car layer so it's almost done which is perfectly fine so what we can do is just to make sure if i zoom in here just to make sure if you know the this is aligned because we'll be uh, revealing the old car just from here so we need to align this thing again select the old layer go to filters liquify and repeat the same process just to align that thing one click drag a bit that's it perfect okay so if there is some uh, issues later on we can always go back and manipulate the settings that's that's fine so now what we will do is we want the front part of the new car and back part of the old car all right so what i'll do is i'll select my old car okay and grab a mask from here now we get a, we, we have a masks right here so i'll go back to my brush tool pressing b or i can just go to this icon here and get my brush tool i'll go to my normal brush okay and the hardness will be somewhere around well, i think for days here and i'll increase the size by open bracket or close bracket we can do that and as my white is my foreground color so i can remove the car from here all right so till here we don't need the back car if i unhide my new car layer so you'll see we don't have a car here and if we want some part of it back so we'll reverse our colors by using this swap switch here or you can just press x and if you drag once you'll get the car back so i don't want that area so i'll just leave it right there and i select my uh, new car and i'll repeat the process but this time backwards 
all right so i'll create a mask mask is here black color is selected and sorry i need the white color so i'll press x and i'll delete this part so now if you see things are already coming in shape right the roof is matching very perfectly base is matching very perfectly so yeah we can do that all right so we can use different brushes to get all these but before we do that i i i'm really sorry i have to go one step back i need my entire car all right i don't need the uh mask right now just right now we have to do one more step between that so i'll unhide my old car i'll select my new car go to my filters press liquify all right so we have to liquify this car as well as we all know if i just decrease the size we are we will be needing half of the front car so we don't need the back car so we'll be creating splashes out of this thing as well all right so i'll increase the size i'll go to somewhere around 500 all right so what i'll do is i'll press and drag press and drag press and drag it might be new to some people but you'll come to know why i'm doing this press and drag that's it i'm done all right so i'll press ok and we have some this weird looking back side of the car so now i'll get a mask on this layer so by selecting the new car select mask and i'll unhide my old layer as well just to see what's happening around so now what i will do is i will go to my brush tool and by pressing b okay i'll get my brush tool i'll go to my normal brush and i will use the white foreground color and i will erase everything till where till i zoom in till here i'll grab my mouse till here just because we need these two things to be aligned and the splashes will be coming out of there so i'll get get, get my brush tool back all right and i'll remove this so now everything looks same before we turn this liquify but we'll just come to know why i've did i've done that all right so this is kind of transformation happening from old to new or new to old all right i'll select my mask again i'll i've downloaded a couple of brushes guys if you if you want to know the name glossy blood splatter 65 675 pixels so if you put the exact same name and add photoshop brushes in google you'll get these brushes over here and obviously it is like if you open your brushes and then you go here and uh, re you want to reload your brushes you know new brushes so just like this go here and import brushes select here and you'll take, it will take you to the brush wherever you have saved your brushes in your hard drive so you can load your brushes so this is the name glossy blood splatter i'll open the brushes because i have already tried and you know tested a couple of brushes so i know which brush to use so i'll be using number 41 42 43 and 45 so number 41 so this is the brush now i want to bring back some of the colors so i'll be swapping my colors black will go up as my foreground color and white will come down as my background color so i'll press x or i can use this switch here right. so i'll right click on the screen so i'll give, get the brush properties so i can make it angular or whatever size you know whatever it is. these are the properties so i'll make a couple of splashes here and there if it's too much you can always press ctrl z and go back and then i'll change my brush i'll go to brush number 43 this one is fine i'll press right key right mouse button and adjust the angle just like that all right it's looking good now i'll press i'll select this brush number 44 no. 43 yeah I press right button again right mouse button on the screen to get the properties yeah, this one looks perfect I will decrease the size a bit again 
I left it upside. Not so much. And this. All right, and we will be using some other brushes now. Plus six. Yeah, this can be good. That is fine, and I'll be using a couple of more brushes. This is all about brushes, guys. It's all about experimenting how much time you put in and all those things. The more better results you get. I'll press the white uh, for as my foreground color because I want to remove some of the colors from here as well, just to give it more organic look. Something like that. And as you can see, there is no background here, so I'll go back here. Press X to bring my black color back and I'll get the car back from the background. Alright, so these are the brushes which I've used and now what I will do is I have another set of brushes which is if I go in and hide these brushes first. I have these special effect brushes. So I, I got all these brushes online only so it's, it's perfectly fine you guys can find it by yourself and I'll make some weird splashes right here right. looks more organic I can change I can always go back and change the brush I don't I, I'm not liking this swirl of the car going upwards so what I will do is I'll go to my normal brush General brush, get the first one. Hardness is somewhere around 40. I'll swap my colors black again, decrease the size of my brush, and I will remove this. Alright, the tires also there. Yeah. Don't do that, but yeah, it's okay for the tires. I think it's okay for here as well. Or I will go back again, I'll find my brush once again. more weird no that's too much so yeah this is the actual idea behind creating a splash and now what you can do is uh, how was my original image all right so we can get this ground as well what I will do is I'll unhide my first layer okay which is something like this and I can increase the size Bring it down here. All right. So I'll go to I'll select my mask and swap my colors. Go to my brush. Go to my normal brush and decrease the size a bit. So I want the ground back. So I'll paint here. So I'll get some of the ground back. Nah, I'm not liking it. I need to feather it out more. Increase the size. So it's all about playing with your brushes, hardness of your brush, how soft you want, what kind of brushes you want, what exactly you're trying to get. So it's all about the brushes. So you can see the back car again here. So what I will do is I will swap my colors. I'll make it black here and I'll delete some parts of the car. That looks perfectly organic right now. I'm liking it so now it's a I don't know like it's a very cool step what you can do is I can bring up here 
and these are the three layers we use we basically use brushes and masks so what i will do is i'll press ctrl alt shift on my keyboard and press e so it will give me the screenshot of whatever we have done till now and it's here so this is the screenshot and i can i want to you know swap my car's hood other way around so i'll press control t and center click control t right mouse click flip horizontally all right i'm too quick with the tutorial i'm sorry guys and i will bring it a bit downward here that's perfectly fine all right and i'll go to my i'll open my layer once again actually the file i was working on just to make it more quick and grab a couple of elements from there for example i'll grab this advertisement thing here and the video shelter logo of course i'll grab my move tool and i'll drag it onto my current document perfect all right and if you can see in my tutorial video or poster i have made some clouds there so it's it's same process you just have to go to go and create a new layer by pressing control shift n all right and download the brushes for clouds go to your clouds and i have here this one I'll decrease the size and I'll be keeping the color a bit gray grayish dark grayish that's it I don't know for some reason it's showing you I can always go back and turn on turn the change the blending mode and yeah but what we can do is we can make a different color let's see what happens I'll, I'll pick the same color cloud blue cloud and try to mess with the blending options looks perfectly fine and i'll decrease the opacity a bit and you can use the same thing here decrease the size that's it so this was the tutorial guys and ah yeah i would like to tell one more thing always like if if you see images or you know advertisement posters or movies there is like a thing called film grain we can create that in photoshop as well i'll show you very quickly i'll create a new layer by pressing control shift n right and i'll go to my filters noise add noise what okay we have to fill this layer with some color so i'll make it dark gray and alt black space because that was my foreground color i'll go to filter noise add noise and the amount is perfectly fine and i'll go to filter again blur version blur with the radius of 0.6% okay and now i will change the blend mode to subtract so you get this weird thing going around and you can always go back and decrease the opacity to your liking it's it's a very minor detailing but it actually helps to sell your product so use the opacity of 10 and it's done so this is your tutorial guys i hope you liked it you enjoyed it you learned something be creative don't just follow the tutorials take on the steps create something new always most welcome to share on my facebook page and do subscribe if you haven't subscribed till now thank you so much guys bye bye take care